This is Appa Brian and Appa Baseball Classics. Are you ready for some baseball? This is Game 7 of the 1930s. Today we have the 1931 Philadelphia Athletics hosting the 1934 Detroit Tigers. Both teams are 0-1 looking to start winning. We're talking Jimmy Fox, Mickey Cochran, and for the Tigers, Charlie Geringer and Hank Greenberg. Join me as we play tabletop baseball. Here's the starting lineups for the Detroit Tigers. They lost to the 1932 Yankees 9-6 in Game 1 of the 30s project. Pete Fox leads off and plays center field. Mickey Cochran is the catcher. Goose Gosselin is in left field. That's third. Charlie Geringer is cleanup at second base. Billy Rogel is the shortstop. Hank Greenberg is at first. Marvon at third. Jojo White center field. And Tommy Bridges B X pitchers on the mound. Max Bishop leading off. He plays second base. Mule Haas is in center field. Normally, Mickey Cochran hits third, but he will not be playing for the A's as we have a home rule. We don't play the same player on two teams that are playing each other. Cochran was on the 34 Tigers, and he's also on the 31 A's. So Cochran will be out. Uh, Al Simmons will be batting third. And Simmons is playing in left field. Mickey or Jimmy Fox at first base, being Miller in right field. Jimmy Dykes at third base. Dib Williams the shortstop. And Johnny Heaving is the catcher. Rube Wahlberg, B and Y pitcher, is on the mound. Let's begin. We'll read the black die first, the white die second. Pete Fox steps into the box. Here's the first pitch of the game from Rube Wahlberg. We're using uh, the Marino boards. We have master symbols on both teams. And also, both teams are fielding column one. There's a pitch to Fox. 45 is going to be a leadoff walk. Ball four. Fox takes first. Mickey Cochran, player manager. 6-5 is popped up. Behind the catcher and caught by Johnny Heaving, one away. Goose Gosselin, two home runs in the first game and a single. He went three for five with three RBI. There's a pitch to Gosselin. 32 is a 26. That's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. Max Bishop goes the short way. Flips the ball to the shortstop, Dib Williams, retires Fox 4-6. to six. Now Gosselin's the base runner at first by way of a fielder's choice. Two outs, and here is Charlie Geringer, a 356 hitter in 1934. Notice Mr. Mechanical at second base. 41 is a ground ball to the shortstop, and... Dib Williams throws out Charlie Geringer. That's the end of the first inning. No score. A is coming to bat. All right, Max Bishop leads off for the Philadelphia Athletics. The A's lost their first game. They played the Chicago American Giants and fell 7-2. It's based on balls to Max Bishop. So Bridges starts the game. Same way A's pitcher did with a base on balls. Tony Bridges is primarily a curveball pitcher. He is the number two in their rotation. 22 and 11 in 1934. Mule Haas steps into the box. 46. Fly ball to right field. Pete Fox is under it and makes the catch. One down. Al Simmons. 55 is a base hit for Simmons. Bishop will round second. He's not stopping. He'll go to third. First and third, Philadelphia is threatening in the first. That brings up Jimmy Fox. 
said this before, but I think he was really the star of the 1930s. Had a season when he had 58 home runs, nearly got 60. 32 to Fox is a 26. Infield's playing deep. That is a 4-6-3 double play. 4-6-3 tank twin killing ends the inning. We go to the top of the second. There is no score. Billy Rogel starts off the Tigers second. 26 is a 27. That's going to be a ground ball to third base or Y. Weiberg has the Y, so it's a strikeout. Rogel U-turns back to the dugout, caught looking, one down. Hank Greenberg. 25 is a fly ball to center field. Play made by Mule Haas. That's two outs. Marv Owen. And 6-1 is a ground ball to first base. Taken unassisted by Jimmy Fox. Second innings, top of the second's done. No score. Dean Miller, 48, steps in the box. 36. 33 is a pop-up to the Tiger shortstop, Billy Rogel. One down. Here's Jimmy Dykes. 1-3 is a base on balls. He draws a walk, patient hitter. Dykes was a eventually a manager of the Chicago White Sox. He, stuck, he was one of the main players in the movie, The Monty Stratton Story. Doug Williams steps into the box, one out, one on. 51 is a nine against a B pitcher. That could be a base hit. That's a single. Oh, wait a minute. I'm reading the wrong page. Still a single. The runner goes to second. So Dykes is at second. Williams at first. Two on and one out. There's Johnny Heaving, the catcher. 22 for Heaving is an eight against a B pitcher. I think that's an out. A ground ball to, or excuse me, that's a pop fly to the second baseman. Two down, and now the pitcher, Rube Walberg. Twenty-four is a ground ball back to the pitcher, and he throws the first with three outs. To the top of the third. Yeah, he's threatened, but didn't score. Nothing, nothing. Jojo White leads off for the Tigers. 6-6 six, six roll. That's a hit column roll for the speedy center fielder. 25 is a double for Jojo White. Fast runner at second. They'll bring up Tommy Bridges who will square and try to sacrifice. 56 is a 34. And with a runner on second base. That is a bunt at missed. Strike two. Bunty might not be good with Forte. Counts 2 here's the pitch. He's still trying to bunt, 1-4. 30 is a bunt that's down. Third baseman's charging. No play at 30. Takes the throw to first. Sacrifice is good. 5-3. to three. And JoJo White goes to third. Philadelphia will play the infield back. I can see this run. They expect runs to be scored in this game. Pete Fox. 14 is a 30. Fly ball to left field. We'll have to see how deep deep it is. The left fielder is Simmons. He's a feeling column one. Depth is 34. So I'll add that. Let's see, 34 for the depth. Take off the throwing arm. 
So they, not that one. Simmons has a, oh, it's not, the arm is 36. So there's, there's, there's no chance he's going to score. It'd be like very low chance. So too shallow. There's Mickey Cochran. And 55 is an 8 against a B. 32 is a fly ball fly out to right field. Three outs. The bottom of the third. No score. Top of the order for the Athletics. Max Bishop leads off. 6-2 is a 36. Ball one. Tommy Bridges peers in, gets a sign, probably going to be a curveball. 24 is a swing and a miss, strike three. Bishop is Bridges' first strikeout. Mule Haas. Twenty-one is a fly out to the left fielder, Goose Goslin. Two down. Al well, Simmons, 35, is a fly out to center field. Clean inning for Tommy Bridges. We go to the fourth, no score. Goose Gosselin steps into the box. 0 for 1, fielder's choice. 1 3 is a base on balls. Gosselin takes first, average speed. 322 is not going to be a threat to steal. Charlie Geringer. 36 is a 33, popped into the air. Jimmy Dykes is under it, calls for it, and puts it away. One down. Billy Rogel. 4-3 is a ground ball. Uh, let's see, to the pitcher, who would be feeling column two. And that's a... It's got a wide bite, so it's a strikeout. Rogel's the second out. Second strikeout for Rube Wahlberg. Two outs. Here's Hank Greenberg. Talked about Jimmy Fox getting 58 home runs in the season. Hank Greenberg duplicated that feed himself. 1-6 is a 28. Ground ball to shortstop. That's the end of the top of the fourth. No score. Fox, Miller, and Dykes do up in the bottom of the fourth inning. 1-4 is a fly out to the left fielder, Goose Gosling. One down. The Goose cooks the Fox. Bing Miller, 26. Grump, that's an X. And Bridges has an X, so it's a strikeout caught looking. Miller goes back to the dugout, disappointed. Two outs. Jimmy Dykes. And 2-2 two is a good roll. That's a base hit for Dykes. Second time he's been on base. He's there with two outs. And E-14, not a threat to steal. Dib Williams, shortstop. 6-3 is a fly out to center field. JoJo White is under it and picks it out of the sky. We go to the fifth, no score. Still early in this game, but both pitchers are in control. Uh, neither Detroit or Philadelphia got good efforts from their starting pitchers in game one. Grove gave up six runs in three innings, and Schoolboy Aurora was tagged for seven runs in one inning. So the starting pitching so far has improved for both these clubs. One of Owen steps in, 1-4, fly ball to left field. Caught by Al Simmons, one down. Here's JoJo White. Doubled and made it as far as third. 1-4 is a fly ball to left. Two outs. Two fly outs to the left side. And now the pitcher, Tommy Bridges. Sacrifice the his first time out. 2-2 is a 
Nine gets beat. That's going to be a base hit for the pitcher, Bridges. He holds it first. They bring out that Tigers black and orange jacket. He dons the jacket, and Pete Fox steps into the box. Two outs, one on. 55 is a eight against a B pitcher. That is going to be a 27 play result. A ground out to third base. Bottom of the fifth, no score. Catcher Johnny Heving is first batter of the fifth inning. 35. 38 is a ball. And 6-4 is a swing and a miss. Strike three. Third strikeout for Tommy Bridges. Here's Rube Wahlberg. He'll be a chance to get his fourth. 24 is a ground ball back to Bridges. He snags it and throws over to Greenberg. That's two outs. Here's Max Bishop. And the top of the order. Third time through. 53 is at 18. Let's see. The shortstop is tested. He's a feeling column one. That's going to be a, with two outs, a ground out. Let's see. Yeah, ground out shortstop with two outs. That's the end of the inning. We go to the sixth. Still nothing, nothing. Mickey Cochran, the Tigers are on their third trip through the order. Hopefully they've got some answers. Here's the pitch to Cochran. 36 is a base on balls. Fifth, fifth base runner. Here is Cochran on first. He is not a threat to steal. F26 stealing. Bruce Gosselin, 305 hitter in 1934 41. It's a double play ball. Hit to shortstop. Williams to Bishop over to Fox. 6 4 3 DP, two outs. Charlie Geringer. And that's a 32, is a ground out to second base. We go to the bottom of the sixth, no score. Neil Haas leads off for the A's. 32 is a ground ball to second base. Geringer with the play. He's Mr. Automatic at second base. Al Simmons. 6-4 is a single for Simmons. Fourth base hit off Bridges. He's, and Simmons has two of them. F20 stealing. One out and one on. Here's Jimmy Fox. 42 is base on balls. A's are putting together a scoring threat. Two on one out. Bing Miller. Four six is the roll. 29 is a double playground ball back to Bridges. He whirls and throws the second over to first. One, six, three, double play. We go to the seventh. No score. All right, the pitchers do not have batters faced on this card set, and so seventh inning is their fatigue inning. Three bad things happen. The guys will be lowered by one level. Billy Rogel, the Tigers' hard nose shortstop, he struck out twice, leads off 35. Is a 39 strike one ground ball back to Wahlberg. He's got it. Rochelle is retired. One away and Hank Greenberg. There's the bat from the right side. Power hitter. One three is a base on balls. Tiger Slugger tosses the bat, tosses the first. Marv Bowen. 54 is a fly ball to right field. Big Miller's under it and catches it. Two outs. JoJo White, the eighth place hitter. 
six one is a twelve. That's going to be a ground out to the first baseman who flips to the pitcher covering. Three outs. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Clean scoreboard zero zero. It's a rare day when you get a nothing nothing result this late in the game in Baker Bowl, Philadelphia. Jimmy Dykes steps into the box. A's third baseman, 61. Ground ball to shortstop. Billy Rogel scoops and throws one out. Jimmy Dykes is one for two. He's been on base twice. Here is Jeff Williams, the shortstop. 52 is a 27. X result gets a strikeout. Williams goes back to the dugout. Two outs. And here is Ruby. And that's a strikeout. We go to the eighth, no score. All right, Tommy Bridges leads off the eighth. He's not coming out of this game in a nothing nothing game. 21 is a fly ball to left field. Al Simmons is under it and makes the catch. Pete Fox. 2 4 is a swing and a miss, strike three. Wahlberg strikes out Fox, two outs. And now Nicky Cochran. 61 is a ground ball to first base. Flips the Wahlberg covering. Nice play by Jimmy Fox. For the bottom of the eighth, nothing, nothing. All right, Rube Wahlberg will lead off the last of the eighth for the A's. 64 is a fly out to left field, one down. Next Bishop. 6 2 is a 36. Ball one. 35. Base on balls. Bishop takes first. Didn't mean to hit the camera there. Mule Haas. Six three is a fly ball to the center field. JoJo White takes major and makes the catch. Runner holds it first. Al Simmons. Forty six is a forty. Uh, ball one. Six two is a nine against a B. Base hit, and Bishop goes to second. Al Simmons, the only one that's really hitting today. He is three for four, three singles. He's got first and second with two outs. Simmons at first. Max Bishop at second. And here is Jimmy Fox. A dangerous moment for Tommy Bridges. Let's see. In the seventh, he had no marks. He's got two marks now against his fatigue. One more, his grade will go down. 21 to Fox is going to be a fly ball to left field, and that'll end the trouble. We go to the top of the ninth. Detroit, nothing, and Philadelphia, nothing. You get the feeling that this inning is going to settle the issue. I do. We're in the middle of the batting order for the Detroit Tigers. Goose Gosselin will lead off. He was the hero of yesterday's game. With three hits, two homers, three RBIs. Rube Wahlberg comes back out to pitch. He has got uh, one mark against his fatigue. So he's good to go. Here's the pitch to Gosselin. 51 is a fly ball to center field. Hit deep, but will stay in the ballpark. Mule Haas pulls it in. That's one down. Charlie Ganger. 54 is a fly ball to right field. And that is Bing Miller out there. He, he's got it. Two outs. It's been a clean game. No errors. A few walks. Not many hits. Rogel. 1-6 is a roller on the ground. To the shortstop, Dib Williams. He throws to Jimmy Fox. And the Tigers are retired in the ninth. The score is not a nothing-nothing. Bing Miller leads off the ninth for the A's. It's sudden death here for the Tigers at the A's score. It's over. 51 is a base hit. Leadoff single by Bing Miller. 
F-25 stealing, he could steal um, Cochran's throwing arm is four to his favor, so that reduces him to 21. Move to first is one, so 20. Chances of steal aren't great. You'll be safe in a roll of 11 through 42. How bad do we want him in scoring position? Don't want to give up the base running. Here's Jimmy Dykes. 1-1 one, one roll for Dykes. Hit column roll. 51 is a double. A double the other way down the third base line. Fast runner scores. Or if there's two outs, the runner scores. There are no outs. Second and third, runner is not rated fast. But big trouble for Tommy Bridges. That also reduces his uh, pitching grade. Let's see, Mickey Cochran, the catcher, motions to the bullpen. They're going to bring in Fairpool Marbury uh, because Bridges is basically is tired. Marbury is a CYZ pitcher for the Tigers. He'll come in and take his warm-up tosses. It's in a tight spot. Second and third, nobody out. Sudden death baseball. He'll be pitching to Dib Williams. And he'll be a great B pitcher because of same-sidedness. Here's a pitch to Dib Williams. The infield is playing in for the Tigers. 1-5 is a 8 against a B pitcher. Fly ball to center field. Let's see if it's deep enough. Center fielder is a feeling column one. That's um, no, he's feeling column two. Jojo White, we roll for the depth. Five. 53 is the depth. Let's subtract uh, the left fielder. Or, excuse me. White is a 32 arm, not great. So 53 minus 32 is 21. Add the speed of the base runner at third. That's being Miller. And let's see. Miller is 10. 21. Hmm. That's going to be 11 through 43. The runner will be safe. There's no outs. Not a sure thing. Uh, I play this a little differently. Uh, 11 through 43, he'll be safe. 44 above, he'll be out. He's going to hold. But then you got heaving in Wahlberg. No, nope. he's going to try. 11 through 43, here we go. It's got to be 11 through 43. It is a 53. JoJo White throws him out at the plate. Two outs. That's a double play. Eight to two. Two outs, runner on second. What a defensive play by JoJo White. Saves the Tigers. Now they don't have to play the infield in, and they're looking at the eighth place hitter, catcher Johnny Heving. 230 batter, pitcher's next. That might get, uh, that would likely get Wahlberg out of the game. They're going pitch to pitch the Heving. Here's the pitch. And 6-1 is a ground ball to shortstop. 6-3. to three, That's the final out. No score. Nothing, nothing. We go the extra innings. Wahlberg pitched beautifully today. Nine innings, no runs. But he's not going to get a decision as he steps aside for Hank McDonald, a great CW pitcher for Philadelphia. He's pitching to... Greenberg, Marvon, and Jojo White in the top of the 10th inning. 1-1 one, one roll. That's going to be a two-bagger for Hank Greenberg, a leadoff double. Greenberg's at second, no outs. Marvon in the hitter with Jojo White on deck in the pitcher spot. We're going to take three cracks that he hit. 
One five is an eight against a C. That's going to be a. Uh, that's a hit. And the runner scores unless the runner is safe or slow. Greenberg is not. First run of the game, driven in by Marv Owen. One to nothing, Detroit. Wahlberg leaves the showers. He's going to go leave the dugout, go to the showers. Here's JoJo White. 24, swing and a miss, strike three. Here's Fearful Marbury. McDonald to Marbury, 1 2 is a 25. That's a. Ground out to second base. Two outs, one in, one on. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Let's see, that's a double double play. Ground out to second base. I had that wrong. Four, five, three. That ends the tenth, but the damage is done. Detroit one and Philadelphia nothing. Bob Kramer will pitch hit for the A's. Now down by a run. 52 is a 27 ground ball. High hopper to third base. One away. Max Bishop, top of the order. A's need a base runner. 25 is a 9 against a C. It's an out. Popped up, or Y. Marbury's got the Y, so it's a strikeout. Tilly Bishop goes back to the dugout. Two outs. Last chance for the A's. Neil Haas. 6-5 is popped up behind home plate. Mickey Cochran throws away the mask and makes the catch. That's the ball game. In 10 innings, the Detroit Tigers defeat the Philadelphia A's 1-0. All right, Detroit moves to 1-1. One one. The A's move to 0-2 in this 1930s project. The winning pitcher today was uh, Thurple Marbury in relief. And the loser was Hank McDonald, also in relief. One home run. No no home runs in the game, sorry. And uh, very few hits. Tigers had one run on four hits, no errors. A's had zero runs. They did get seven hits, three of them by Al Simmons and no airs. Hope you enjoyed this game. Tight game it was. Low scoring. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and may God bless.